A successful businessman named Adrian is temporary out on bail. He was arrested for the murder of his mistress Laura. A reputable defense attorney named Virginia visits him and says she was sent by his lawyer. The attorney tells him that the prosecutor has found a witness that could make him lose his case. The witness will testify in three hours, so they need to make a strong defense immediately. And for that, she needs to know the details. Adrian starts to recount what happened that day. A blackmailer told him and his mistress to meet at a hotel, and they were asking for 100,000 euros, threatening to expose their affair. He and Laura were waiting for hours in the room when he received a text message from the mistress' phone. Knowing that it is a trap to frame him, the two decide to leave. But before they can do so, someone knocks Adrian unconscious. He later wakes up and finds his lifeless mistress lying on the floor. The police break open the door, and since no one is around except him, they arrest Adrian as the suspect. Virginia says the witnesses did not see anyone come out of the room, and their door was locked from inside by a chain. The windows were also locked from the inside, so it's impossible that there was another person aside from them. However, Adrian says it was perfectly planned to frame him. The attorney asks why would anyone do that, and Adrian does not know. Virginia says there must be someone who hates him so much that would do great lengths just to destroy him. Adrian is hesitant to admit it, but when the attorney tells him that they can't win without telling her everything, Adrian finally reveals a secret. Three months ago, Adrian's wife calls him, believing that he is in a business meeting in Paris. But in reality, her husband is with his mistress in a cabin just few hours away. While driving home, we learn that Laura is also married, and Adrian starts to feel guilty, so he wants to end their affair already. He is distracted for a moment when a deer suddenly crosses, making him swerve and hit another car. The two were not hurt, but the guy on the other car named Daniel has been killed. Adrian tries to call the police, but Laura tells him it was the deer's fault, and she convinces him that they just leave since nobody saw them. They are about to leave, but their car wouldn't start. When they see a car approaching, Laura hides Daniel's body, and she pretends to be the car owner and exchanges insurance details with Adrian. The man offers to call the ambulance, but they refuse it, and so he leaves. Now that there was a witness, Laura says they should get rid of the body and the car. They put Daniel in the trunk, and Adrian drives away, leaving Laura who is waiting for a tow truck. Virginia asks what did he do to the car, and Adrian says he pushed it into the lake, together with Daniel's body. He later calls Laura to pick him up, and he asks how did his car got repaired. The mistress says a man named Thomas drove by and she tells him that she hit a deer and now the car wouldn't start. The man says he can help her fix it, and he tows the car to his house where Laura meets his wife, Elvira. While chatting, Elvira receives a call from her son's friend who is looking for him. She says her son has left early so he should have been there already. Laura on the other hand notices their family picture and is shocked to learn that their son turns out to be Daniel. Meanwhile, Thomas is fixing the car when he notices an expensive-looking gold lighter. He later gives the key to Laura, and she just left, saying she's already late. As Laura is leaving, Thomas watches her in suspicion as she adjusts the seat. The couple are worried because no one has seen their son yet. Adrian asks his mistress what they should do now, and Laura tells him of her plan. The next day, Adrian goes to the scrapyard to get rid of his car, and goes to the police to report that it was stolen while he was away in Paris. Adrian pretends to live normally as he goes to work and spends time with his family. Until one day, the police invited him to the station. Debris from collision of two cars were found a few miles from where Daniel lived, and coincidentally, his father picked up a woman who had an accident on the same day his son went missing. The license plate on the vehicle of the woman belonged to Adrian. However, they have a good alibi because Adrian has already reported that the car was stolen, and he was in Paris during that time. His lawyer Felix then bribes the police to remove Adrian's name from the case file. One day, the news comes out that Daniel might have faked his disappearance to run away. It is reported that he stole money from the bank where he was working. Thinking that Laura might have something to do with it, Adrian goes to confront her. Laura admits that she took Daniel's wallet after putting him in the trunk. She then hacked Daniel's account and transferred the bank's money to his. She did this so the police would think that Daniel is just hiding and not dead. Virginia doubts this and says the jury might not believe it because there is no way Laura can hack the account when she is just a photographer. Adrian says Laura's husband worked in a bank before and he probably helped her. Adrian's was given the Businessman of the Year award, and at the event, Thomas poses as a reporter to confront him. He believes that his son is not running, but is dead. Thomas believes that the woman he brought to their house had something to do with it. He also believed that she was not alone, because she adjusted her seat, which meant that she was not the one who's driving. Thomas asks Adrian for a light, and when he takes out his gold lighter, Daniel's father realizes it was the same one he saw in the woman's car. 
He begs him to tell where his son's body is, so they can bury him and let him rest in peace. But Adrian denies it, until Thomas is taken away by the security. Adrian says he never heard from him after that incident, until one day, he receives a letter, with Daniel's name as the sender. Inside it is a photo of a lake where he dumped Daniel. There is also a voice recording of the blackmailer, and it turns out that the blackmail was not about their affair, but of the crime they did to Daniel. The blackmailer told Adrian to bring 100,000 euros, and instructs him and Laura to meet at a hotel. Virginia asks how did the blackmailer know about the lake, and Adrian believes that the blackmailer might be the man who drove by that day, and he followed him as he dumps Daniel's car into the lake. Virginia says the blackmailer is not after the money because he did not take the cash, that's why she believes that the blackmailer must be Daniel's father Thomas. She says Thomas must have lost his faith with the police, so he wants to put justice in his own hands. But to prove that Thomas has a motive to kill Laura and frame him, Adrian must confess what they did to Daniel. However, Adrian says they still cannot prove that Thomas was there because the doors and windows were locked when he woke up. Virginia shows him the newspaper on Adrian's arrest, and he finds out that Thomas's wife Elvira was there. It turns out that she is working at the hotel. Elvira opens the window of the service room where her husband could later escape, and Thomas hides inside the wardrobe, waiting for the time to attack Adrian and Laura. He made sure that Adrian's prints will be found in the weapon. Thomas then locks the door with the chain, and escapes through the windows. Moments later, Elvira arrives with the police, and she secretly locks the windows back while the officers are busy. This theory could finally implicate Thomas. However, Adrian still does not want to be involved in Daniel's case, so Virginia comes up with a plan. They must make it appear that Laura is the only one in the accident, and to link her directly to Daniel's body, Virginia suggests that they plan an object that belongs to Laura in the submerged car. She asks him where in the lake he sank the car so they can do her plan, and Adrian then marks the location. Adrian later confesses another secret. At the lake, he found out that Daniel was still alive, but for a split-second decision, Adrian closed the trunk and still pushed the car into the lake, finally ending the boy's life. Virginia lost her composure after hearing this, and she calls her client a murderer. Adrian gets mad and reminds her that she paid her to defend him. Virginia never lost a case, and she tells Adrian that she does not want to lose this one, so she asks her client to stop lying now and tell everything, because there are a lot of loose ends in his story. Virginia deduced that Adrian reversed the story. Laura was the one who tried to call the police, but Adrian convinced her that it was not their fault, and he told her that they should hide the body. It was also Adrian who took Daniel's wallet and paid someone to hack into the boy's account and steal money from the bank. Laura fell into despair and guilt for what they did, so she called Daniel's parents and told them everything. It was actually Laura who arranged the meeting at the hotel where Elvira is working. She convinced Adrian that the driver who passed by is blackmailing to expose the truth, and is asking for 100,000 euros. Laura planned to use that money as compensation for the poor parents' loss. When Adrian arrived at the hotel, Laura says that she lied about the blackmail. She asked him that they should confess their crime, and give the money to the parents of Daniel. However, Adrian got mad and killed his mistress. And since he could no longer escape the room, he smashed his head into the mirror to make it look like they were attacked. Adrian denies all of this, but Virginia says she could not help him if he continues lying. That is when he finally confesses of killing Laura, proving all of Virginia's theory to be true. Virginia says that she now has a good strategy to win the case. She asks that they take a 10-minute break, and she hurriedly goes out of the apartment. Meanwhile, Adrian receives a call from his lawyer Felix, telling him that the prosecutor's witness was the driver who passed by, but he has managed to pay for his silence. Their phone call gets interrupted by a high-pitched noise, and Adrian notices that the ink on Virginia's pen spilled on his shirt. That's when he finds out that the pen he used to mark the lake's location is actually a recording device. And looking back at his conversation with the attorney, and how she came up with most of the details, he realized that she is not who she says she is. At the apartment across the street, he finds Virginia standing beside Thomas. The woman later takes off her disguise, and Adrian is shocked to find out that she is actually Daniel's mom, Elvira. Thomas is now calling the police, and moments later, the real Virginia Goodman arrives. Did you like our movie recap? Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. To be updated for new movie recaps, hit the notification bell.